Welcome back to Time Out with Tiffany. On today, we're going to discuss what is happening in the pet aisles at the grocery stores. Like, are you guys having problems or issues finding pet supplies for your pets? And if so, what items can't you find? And are you substituting other items, going to other stores? Let me know in the comments below. I have two fur babies, a Bichon Frise and a Bishapu. That's Coco and AJ. And as you all know, I believe in shopping clearance deals and sales. So if I prep for my family, of course I'm prepping for them as well. So I'm going to review and go over a couple of things that I picked up for them. And I found at Great Deals checking clearance items. Here I have all of their medical supplies. I have two breeds that suffer with allergies and itchy skin. It's a part of their breeding. I have some itch solution, ear mite and tick treatments, allergy meds, eye wash, and hot spot skin treatment. We brush their teeth. So here are extra toothbrush that I picked up for them. I live in a cold climate. I'm constantly trying to find pet socks and boots that they will allow me to put on. I have one dog. She doesn't mind. But AJ, which is my male dog, he absolutely hates boots on his feet. So if you have any suggestions, please leave that down below in the comment section. I would love to get some insight on how to protect their little paws in the snow. I picked up this um, toolbox. This was like $10 at Walmart. I used this to keep all of their items in, their emergency items, toothbrush, like all of the things that they need just so they're not scattered all around the house. This is their first aid kit. This was purchased from Amazon. If you're interested to know what's inside of it, let me know in the comments below, and I will absolutely do that in a separate video. It's packaged very nice, thick, lots of great things in here. These cans of dog food I found on the manager special. They were 44 cents a can. I got some extra because I found it increasingly harder to find dog food and if I find it it's overpriced so when I see it I grab it. Imes is really not um, a brand that they eat but they're not too particular I'm sure in an emergency situation they will eat these I also have some dog treats I have the extra pet travel bowl this is their emergency bag in case of emergency and we just needed to evacuate for any reasons. That's their emergency bag. I packed things in. That collapsible bowl also goes inside. And I normally buy their food from a kind of dog food. I'm sorry, a pet um, health food store. So they always have samples. I always grab the samples. So I can put them inside of their emergency bag. Now don't buy a lot of stockpile items for them. Because I want them to go through their food. Like I said, they're little guys. And I don't want, you know, things to spoil or become rancid and they can't eat it. So I basically kind of stay at a year supply for them. I don't store longer than that. But let me know in the comments below, what items are you stocking up for your pets? Are there any items that I should add? I also have 
puppy pads in case of an emergency, even though they are fully potty trained. Let me know what's going on in your area. You know, I love to talk to you guys in the comments. Again, if you want to know what's inside of this pet first aid, let me know so I can do a video on it. And if you would like to see how I put all their items and what I put in their, their little emergency box, it's just something I have around the house. Like I said, just to keep all of their items so they're not everywhere, please let me know. And as always... Thank you guys for taking a little time out with Tiffany. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember, we're practicing the two P's over here. We are what? Prepping, praying, and we're praying and prepping. See you on the next one. Bye.